Rudy Sevens Radials. Welcome back, everybody. I'm I'm doing a short video on radials because I get I sell antennas, um, vertical antennas, all right. And I think it's really important that we understand the ground system, all right. Now, there's a whole heap of stuff out there, and I've got to say, and if you can discover it, there was a man called. Where is he? Dr. George Brown from RCA Labs specified in 1937 that an AM broadcast station should have 120 radials. All right. Now, I can't find the paper anywhere. If you can, good luck to you. But that myth has percolated all the way through amateur radio as well. So what I can tell you before we start on this is if you get this completely wrong or you get it completely right, the difference is gonna be not more than 3 dB. All right, that's the important thing, all right, so radials. So let's do a couple of things. I'll just look at this graph actually a minute uh, because uh, of course I'm only interested in the line that goes above the dotted, the dotted line, okay? It's number of radials. It's typical improvement in signal strength as quarter wave radials are added to the ground system. So we can do it here. We can do so that four radials gave him one, all right? Eight radials gave him 1.6. Um, 16 radials is 2.2. This is dB. 16, 32 radials, he's now up to, say 2.4. 32. 2.4 and you can see and at 64 he's not even he's up at 2 64 uh, not even 2.5 okay db gain over a baseline which was just the coax and i think a ground stake hammered into the ground so now what i'm saying is that these are quarter waves all right if you get it completely wrong or completely right you start off with four radials and then you go to 64 quarter wave radials and we'll calculate how much that is the difference between uh db one and two and a half well it's actually one and a half db all right way so uh well i could stop there but i'm not going to right because i've got a bit more detail and data to do so rudy so he's got his vertical here and we'll just you know look look down on it all the way down to the bottom Hopefully you could see these numbers here. My microphone wasn't in the way or anything. Look down there. And he did quarter wavelengths, right? So four quarters as a whole. So he did four radials. Four radials is one wavelength, which means eight radials is two wavelengths. Two wavelengths. Now, I very often say, well, two wavelengths, you're probably right not far off that many radials a quarter waves eight what was it so it's 1.6 so you're one db right <laughs> according to his calculation he did a good ex he's got a good he's got a better name than i have this rudy sevens all right he's not just a guy on youtube he's done good scientific stuff i like his stuff so eight or 64 all right so eight eight to 64 eight six so two wavelengths or 16 wavelengths of wire, right? He's got a difference of one dB, oh, whatever. So, but a lot of people can't squeeze quarter wavelengths in. Now then, Rudy did a really cool experiment. He, he just thought, because nobody had done this before, what happens if I cut all these in half, all right, and add them back in? By the way, if you've watched a video similar to this before, don't go, you're not, you're not going mad, okay? I just need to do this periodically. One, because I end up filming it slightly differently. And two, I've just got a little bit more data at the end that I don't normally do. And he added these back into the system. So he still had this same amount of copper going on. And he just, it was imperceptibly, diff, imperceptibly, well, it was almost immeasurable. There was a slight loss, but we're looking at, you know, nothing, okay? So in other words... We don't need quarter waves, we can go down eighth wave, all right? So on a 40 meter band, a quarter wave would be 10 meters long. So you could do that on five meters long, all right? Okay, well, what happens, I hear you say, 
is that, you know, the back of my lot, whatever else, is there. My wife doesn't want a blooming great antenna right in the middle. She wants it off to the side by that tree there. Well, what do I do now? Well, it's quite easy. You just do them like that. A few short ones there, a couple of big ones there. But I also hear you say, what happens to my signal that way? Oh, well, it might be a dB down. That's all, all right? <laughs> Just don't, wait, don't, don't fret about it. If you can get yourself a couple of wavelengths, certainly one wavelength, one wavelength here, remember, okay, that one, and um, two wavelengths is that one. Then you're gonna be half a dB down, whatever. If you double it again, you'll be go from one to 2.2, 1.2 dB. You remember that apparently six dB is supposed to be an S meter, uh, one S point, six dB. You probably won't get that, but. There we are. What do I got? I've got about, I run about that many. Okay, I think I've got 60. I've got about four wavelengths, maybe four and a half for my lowest frequency because I'm into 80 meters as well. So if you think about it, if I'm running that for 80 meters, well, automatically, as soon as I switch my band down to 40 meters, well, hey, I'm now running this much. It just so happens that the radials have got longer or <laughs> whatever. Marvellous, isn't it? So don't fret about putting it in a corner. If you can only get 90 degrees or 180 degrees like that. I mean, I've done this little plot. I've put my antenna there and put all my radials out like this. And by the way, when I'm portable, even on 80 metres, my radials are only 3.5 metres long. So that... Um, we went to the hills. I'll put a link. Um, and we, we banged, I think it was 30, 32, 30 small radials, three and a half metres long. And we did all bands with that. And I've crossed Atlantic on three and a half metre long radials on 80 metres at one and a half, SI, a half, half moon shaped. And the US was actually that way. All right. So that's why I've stopped fretting about radials. Just get a few down. And if you're worried about how to fix them, we do, in fact, you can buy these, I think, in golfing shops and stuff. Green stakes, do a little pin, two-inch pin. Perfect. I think we'd sell like 200 in a bag. Just push them into the ground, and your radials literally, I mean, I put mine in last October. Within two weeks, I couldn't find them, and the grass wasn't even growing. It just, they just disappear. By the way, I had the dogs playing on them right at the end. A lot of people say, oh, I've got dogs. Well, don't worry about it. I've got dogs as well. I'll just pin them all down. They were gone. Just a, it's half a day's work. All right. Lay them all down. Pin, 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 pin. Buy more than you think. There we are. Radials. All right. Let's not fret about it. All right. Let's not worry about what doctor, whatever his name is, George Brown from uh, RCA Labs. Uh, I can't find his paper. I don't know what experiments he did but I trust Rudy Sevens, all right? So don't go down 127, it's ridiculous. 16, 20, you're absolutely fine. Well, look at the curve, there it is there. Where's 20, there it is. A uh, yeah, half, a quarter of a dB, if that. All right, next video is coming here. Have a jolly good day. See you next time, bye for now.